All right, boys and girls, it's finally time to start our first printed project. So we're going to be making an Egyptian cartouche. When you go into our Steam Google Classroom, you're going to see a link with this project. So there's a picture right here. You're going to click on that picture, but first make sure you're already logged in to your Tinkercad account. So I'm already logged in. I'm ready to go. My password and username has been entered. I'm going to go into our Google Classroom, click on this assignment picture, and it's going to open up a new activity that already is partially made. So you're going to see the activity right here, but you then need to scroll down and then hit copy and tinker. This right here is important because it's going to copy this project and put it right into your Tinkercad account so that you can edit it and make it your own. So I'm going to click that right there. You have to give it a second to get into your account, and once it's in your account, this white rectangular box will go away. Okay, so my project is here. The very first thing you must do is you need to click on this title, and you're going to name it your first and last name, and then you're going to also put your teacher's last name. So I'm gonna put my first name here, and then my last name, and then I'm gonna put a little dash, and let's just say I'm in Miss McCoy's class. So I'm gonna type McCoy, whoops, McCoy, and that way I know whose class I'm giving it to when I print it. So that is very, very important, especially since we're gonna be printing this project. I need your full name, your first and last, and then your teacher's name. Do not forget this first step. Okay, so now it's time to start the activity. Part of the activity is already made for you to make it a little bit faster so we can get to printing. You can choose, so there's two cartouches you can choose. You can choose this one with this hole in it, so you could attach it as a keychain, or you could pick this one that you could just keep as a souvenir. So you're going to decide which one you want, okay? Once you've decided, you can get rid of the other one. So let's say I don't want a keychain. I'm just going to click on this, and then I'm going to delete the one I do not want. So I'm going to delete the keychain, and I choose to use this one. So I'm going to move it over here, and this is what I'm going to be working on. This second step is also very, very important. So you're actually going to take one of these red letters and you're just going to put your first and last name initial. So my first initial is right here. I'm going to bring the J down and then I'm going to bring the W down. And I'm just going to line them and stack them up like this. Now I actually want to do two things to this. I want my initials on the back of this souvenir because that way it's going to be easy to find my project once they've all been printed because they're going to have our whole entire class's projects printed and you need to be able to find yours. So I'm going to click on the J and I'm going to go here to the flip and I'm going to flip it on this horizontal line. Okay, the W, I can flip it, but W flipped is going to look exactly the same. But I'm just going to go ahead and flip it because some of our last names, um, when you flip it, aren't going to be exactly the same. For example, if you have an R or a C. So now that they're flipped, I'm going to actually make them a hole. I'm going to make the W a hole and the J a hole. So I click on the letter and then I click over here on the gray hole. Can you see that? Okay, so now I have a hole, and I'm going to take my souvenir and I'm going to actually drag it right on top of that so I can't see it anymore. Then I'm going to right click on my work plane and I'm going to see it from underneath. So when it's printed, you will actually see your initials underneath. So I want to see JW so it's easier to find my project. Okay? Once you see your initials on the back like that, you're going to just click and drag over this. It's going to take everything from this and you're going to hit group. OK, 
okay? So now, if I was to flip this over, you don't need to do this, but if I was to flip this over, you'll see my initials are now on the back of my cartouche, okay? I'm gonna flip this back around so you can get started with the front, oops. Here we go, there we go. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so the back is just your initials, so it's easy to find your project once printed. Now, from there, you can choose to do your first name or your last name. It's up to you. I'm just going to make my last name on this. And it is going to have to be a little bit taller. My last name is a little bit longer. So I might have to take my base and stretch it out a little bit. That's fine. Now, on the front, you're going to use the Egyptian symbols right here and you're going to choose the ones that you need for your name now sometimes you'll need more than one so for me I need a lot of E's I have three E's in my last name so I'll show you what to do if you need more than one I'm gonna start with that W so this was that W before I took it away and I'm just gonna place it right here so it's gonna be W and then I need to find the H and then I'm gonna drag it down here H W H, and then I have the E. Now the E I'm gonna need three times, so I'm gonna actually take this E, oops, I don't want it to change shape or size, you want these actually to stay exactly the same size, you're not gonna do a lot of shape uh, resizing. And I'm going to take that E, I need it three times, so I'm gonna come up here, don't forget this duplicate, I'm gonna duplicate it once and twice. And now I should have three E's. So I'm going to bring one over here. All right, so W, H, E, E. I'm going to leave that last E for a little bit later. Then I need the L. I'm going to put them right here. And then I need this last E, E, and then my R. Oops. I don't want that to happen. R. Right there. Okay, so now my last name is on this cartouche and it is almost ready. So when it prints, this is just going to be engraved as if you engraved it on a piece of clay. But to do that, I am going to have to do a couple things. I'm going to click and drag because I want to highlight everything and I want to group it together so it prints together. So I'm going to hit group here. When you do this, make sure you don't drag over multiple things, okay? See, right now I have Q and R and S and Z all grouped into this. I don't want that to happen. So I need to be very careful about grouping. I'm just going to simply click and drag on exactly what I need. I need this area right here. And then I'm going to hit group, okay? So now my cartouche is grouped. You'll see exactly what it's going to look like when it's printed. And all this extra stuff I need to get rid of before it's printed. So I'm just going to click and drag over a lot of it to get rid of it. And then I go over here and hit delete. And then I'm going to hit over here and hit delete. And then I have to be careful. I don't want to get my cartouche in this. So I'm going to make it really small. Delete. I can move this over now. So it's in this space. You can choose these male and female symbols to go on your cartouche. I didn't want them on mine, so I'm just going to delete them. And oh, I have one more left. Let's click and delete. And when you're ready to print, this should be the only thing left on your work plane. Okay? So nothing else is left. I'm just going to delete everything else I did not need. I look at the back. It is there and ready to be printed. Okay? Before I print your project, I am going to make sure that one, your name and teacher's name is on labeled on your project. I'm going to make sure that you've grouped this so when I move it around, everything is still grouped together. And I'm going to make sure your initials are on the back. If you are missing one of these things, I'm going to be leaving you a comment that I cannot print your project until you've completed those steps. If you need to rewatch this video one or two times or even more than that, that is fine. That's why I've made this video. So you can go back and you can watch this step by step. If you need to watch a part of the video, then pause it and then go back into Tinkercad. That is fine too, okay? Now, when you're ready to print, do not forget how to turn in, okay? Hit this little plus button right here. This little person with the plus, 
okay? Generate new link, I'm gonna click on that, then I'm gonna hit the word copy, okay? And need to also make sure that it says about 336 hours until the link expires because if it says 10 hours until the link expires or five hours that's not going to give me enough time to view your project okay so make sure it does say that there's about 300 or more hours so when hit copy now go back to our Google classroom okay hit open I mean I got it I know how to turn things in I'm gonna hit add here then link, okay? I can right click, I can paste on this line the link, add link. It's adding the link. Okay, I know how to turn things in, I got it. Then I'm gonna turn this in. I hit turn in, okay? Now it says done, okay? Then it's gonna be sent to me, I'm gonna look at it, I'm gonna review it, and I will let you know if it's ready to be printed. Right now on my Google Classroom, it's marked as done. So you have to go back when you see this returned and click open. Now up top, you'll see the grade. So if you get a four out of four, that means you don't need to do anything to your project. I am going to send it to the printer to be printed. Okay, if you receive a three, a two, or a one, out of four up here in this circle you need to scroll down and you need to view the comment I'm gonna leave you a comment okay if it is a one two or three I see your project but something is wrong and I will not print it until you correct it and resubmit it to resubmit something you do the same thing you click add link you copy that new project once you've edited it and then you hit resubmit okay if you get a zero, that means that I did see that you tried to turn something in, but the link did not work, so therefore I cannot print your project, okay? So a project will not be printed until you receive a four out of four, okay? It must be a perfect grade before sent to the printer. If you have any questions about anything, please let me know. You want to go back to our Google Classroom, you just hit this back arrow and you can see other projects, okay? I can't wait to see what you create. Good luck!